Hey guys, today we're going to do a maiden flight for the Icon A5. This is designed by Plane Print. If you guys haven't seen my build video, make sure to check that out. I'll put a link up for that. And uh, let's go out and try to maiden flight this. We're going to try the first uh, takeoff. We're going to take off without any wheels on it. We're just going to take off on the grass. Uh, that'll be for the first flight. I do have the wheels with me, so we're going to try that out also. All right, so after the first flight, it went okay. Uh, taking off on the grass is a little interesting. It, uh, the grass is pretty long right here, so it's kind of a lot of drag on the plane. Uh, so it's a little tricky to take off on the grass, but uh, we're gonna try to put some wheels on it now, and we'll try to take off on the runway. Okay, well after the maiden flight, this plane was a little bit noisy during the entire process and uh, when I got back to the workbench, I found a couple issues I wanted to make sure I covered with you guys so you guys don't have the same problem. And it had to do with the motors. So unfortunately, because of availability, uh, there's only certain motors and stuff that I can use. I can't use the exact same stuff that Plane Print has. Uh, you know, with availability with China and stuff, if I had to order a motor from China, it's shipping is crazy expensive and take a month or so to get here. So I'm kind of limited for what I can use. Uh, so it was kind of compromised between either use the same size motor, a different KV rating, or a uh, different size motor or the similar size KV rating. So uh, what I, what Plane Print uses is a 2826 uh, 1400 KV motor uh, with a seven by four and a half prop. Uh, and same kind of deal with the prop. I couldn't get the exact prop. I couldn't find a seven by four and a half prop. So I found a seven by four prop, uh, a little bit finer pitch. So I figured, okay, I got a little finer pitch prop. I'll go with a little higher KV and we'll be okay. So I went with a 2826, 2200 KV uh, with a seven by four prop. Uh, and it just didn't have enough power. 
And so what I did is I looked for a little bit longer and I found a seven by four and a half uh, prop. And this is actually like a drone, uh, three bladed prop. And then um, as far as the motor goes, I wanted to go with a lower KV rating because I was going with a little bit more coarse of a prop. So I found this, uh, this is a 2830 uh, 1300 KV motor. So it's a little bit longer. Uh, and a lower KV rating. And uh, one other tip, for moving this shaft here in the, in the motor, we need to reposition the shaft. And there's an Allen key right here. And I've stripped a couple of these out, uh, you know, in past builds and everything. So I want to give you guys a quick tip for that. Uh, use, a, use a heat gun and uh, take the can off of the, the motor. Once you take the, the pin off the back of the motor, this just pulls apart. Uh, so you just have this part of it, grab a pair of pliers and uh, heat this up and then that'll make this Allen a lot easier to get out, that set screw, otherwise you're going to just strip that, it's just a, such a small set screw and uh, you know you don't have a lot of leverage on that so you're going to strip it. So just get it nice and hot and then that will just back right out. Once you get that Allen out, do the same thing like I did in the build video, we'll just tap this shaft down. Also, before you get the shaft all the way down, I dremel a little bit of a flat spot uh, just where the Allen key will set at. So that way the Allen key will fit down in there and then I'll tap this down on the way and put the set screw back in and it'll go right on that flat spot of the shaft and it'll lock the shaft in place to this part of the motor. Okay, the biggest problem with the motors and the reason why I wasn't getting very much power was because the uh, prop adapter was actually making contact with the motor mount. And the reason it was making contact with the motor mount is because of the repositioning of the shaft, how we the shaft comes and it's out this side, and uh, we had to take the collar off and reposition the shaft. Well, normally in like a regular style uh, airplane, the prop is mounted on the front of here, and it's pulling the airplane that way. So it's pulling this uh, can with all the magnets in it, just pulling it closing it. You don't need to add like another keeper or anything like that on there. Uh, but when you're doing it the other way, when the prop is back here and it's pushing the airplane, it actually is pushing this shaft and pushing this this can with all these uh, magnets and stuff, it's pushing it off. And so when there's like a lot of resistance and you're giving a lot of power and you're not going to get a lot of power because it's going to push this forward and then that uh, prop adapter makes contact with the motor mount. So you can see here how it's just all marked up right there on the motor mount. It's because it's been making contact and that's where most of the sound was coming from, from the main flight, that's why it's so loud. So I came up with a little fix for it because uh, the new motor that I'm gonna use is the same style uh, shaft repositioning everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a collar, like a two millimeter collar on there. I had to drill it out slightly. I just ran a one inch uh, drill bit through there and that allowed the collar to slip onto the shaft. Once you slide this collar to the base of the motor, you'll see that it's riding right on top of that bearing and you want there to be a little bit of a space so that way that collar is riding on the center of the bearing, not the outside of the bearing. So we're gonna use this brass ring that it was on the other side when we took the clip off and when we were presenting the shaft. We're gonna reuse that and put it on this side. And then I actually dremeled a flat spot in the shaft so that way the set screw can set right onto that shaft and it won't allow the motor now the motor's locked in place and now if you push on it it's not the motor is not going to come off you know when the prop is pushing on the on the airplane it's not pushing the can off now it's nice and solid and we're ready to put this motor back in and we're going to try the little bit different prop on there and uh, hopefully this will work a lot better Okay guys, so we got the motor all fixed up. Uh, we got that collar on there and uh, we got the different prop on there. So we're out here, we're gonna try to fly this again, see if it flies a little better. And we still got the wheels on it, so we're gonna take off on the runway.
Well, this plane flew way better with the uh, new prop and the new motor setup that I did. So I'll leave the link in the description below for the motor and the prop that I used. So I definitely recommend using that setup. And uh, this plane flew really well and I uh, had fun building it. And let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments and uh, for planes you want me to build or uh, for any questions you have on building this icon. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys in the next one.